Hey guys, right here I have a 2013 Toyota Corolla Altis 1.8e. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key. Let's go ahead and start it up first. The 10th generation Corolla Altis uses an electric rack and pinion power steering system. Standard on the 1.8 liter variants is a leather wrapped steering wheel. For the face lifted 10th generation Corolla Altis 1.8 in Malaysia, out goes the old 4 speed automatic and in its place is a continuously variable transmission or CVT. A CVT features an unlimited amount of gear ratios for a smooth ride and better fuel efficiency. Manual shifting through 7 virtual gear ratios is available by using the gear lever. Front and rear parking sensors are present across the range. Safety on the 1.8E variant consists of two airbags, interlock braking system, electronic brake force, distribution, brake assist, and an alarm system with immobilizer. Now, Let's turn on the hazards, lights, front fog lights, take a look at the engine, and roll down the driver's side window. The facelifted 1.8 variants come with a set of 16-inch 5-spoke alloy rims wrapped in 205-55R16 tyres. The brakes are ventilated discs in front and solid discs at the back. For the suspension, the front gets McPherson struts, while the rear gets a torsion beam setup. E140 refers to the code name given to the 10th generation Corolla. There are two versions of the E140 Corolla, a narrow body model sold in Japan and a wide body model sold in most markets outside of Japan. The E140 Corolla is built on the same Toyota MC platform as its predecessor. However, for certain markets like Australia, South Africa and parts of Europe, the code name for the Corolla sold there is E150. Despite looking identical to the white body E140 Corolla, the E150 gets a different code name because it is based on the newer Toyota New MC platform like the first generation E150 Toyota Auris. Production of the E140 and the E150 Corolla was between 2006 and 2013, except in South Africa, where it is still being produced as the Corolla Quest. Following a tradition set by its predecessor, the white body E140 Corolla was sold in some Asian markets as the Corolla Altis. The facelifted Corolla Altis 1.8 is powered by Toyota's 2ZR-FE 1.8 litre dual of 8 cams, 16 valves, naturally aspirated inline 4 petrol engine with multi-point fuel injection and dual VVTi technology. This engine produces 138 horsepower at 6400 rpm and 173 newton meters of torque at 4000 rpm. The fuel tank size is 55 liters and the Corolla Altis is a front wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the Corolla Altis 1.8 include halogen reflector headlights, front fog lights, LED rear lights, indicators on the side mirrors, and body colored door handles and side mirrors.
speakers right there and right there bottle holder and storage window lock central locking and your window controls all of the windows in this car are powered while the driver's side is the only side that gets a fully automatic function in both directions mirror controls storage Corolla Altis floor mats for the front pull this lever to release the boot lid and pull this lever to release the fuel door the driver's seat in this Altis 1.8E gets full manual adjustments this one controls the seat back this one controls the seat height and this one down here controls the seat position Alright, so let's go ahead and see how she revs. Single zone automatic climate control system, fan speed, front and rear defrost, automatic air conditioning, different modes, recirculation, temperature, and off button. Parking sensors, storage, ashtray, cigarette lighter or power outlet depending on what you use it for, cup holders. The Corolla Altis 1.8 comes with an integrated head unit with a CD player and 6 speakers for the sound system. The stock sound system that the Corolla Altis uses is actually quite good. It is a simple head unit to use. Right above, WMA MP3 enabled CD player, eject button, tune, volume and power, seat track, scan, various media options, 6 preset stations, different folders and text. Central locking. Power folding side mirrors. On the steering wheel, the left spoke houses your audio controls with your volume, seat track, different mode selection. And on the right spoke, this display button goes through your multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Right now, average fuel consumption, range, 
average speed, elapsed time, the time itself, instant fuel consumption, and back to your average fuel consumption. The display on the right goes through your mileage, trip A and trip B, as well as your eco mode via this button right here. On the left stall, wiper controls, and on the right stall, light and indicator controls. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Adjustable front center armrest with two tier storage, a smaller area above, and a bigger area below. Manual dimming, rear view mirror, front reading lights, and the driver's side sun visor gets a vanity mirror. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Window control, bottle holder, and storage. The rear seat backs in this Corolla Altis do fold down. They split 60-40 when folding. And to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down. Then, locate the levers. The one right there folds down the right seat. And there is another one over there that folds down the left seat and the middle seat. Just pull it. and flip the seat back down. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is not the most spacious back here, but the seats are very soft and comfortable. Storage pockets on the front seat backs. Ashtray or storage right here. Rear center armrest with cup holders. And right above, for both sides at the back, are grip handles. Cabin lights.
there are three ways to gain access to the boot. You can use the lever inside the cabin that I showed you earlier on, use the button on the remote, or use the key. Boot space in the Corolla Altis is 450 litres. Under the boot floor is the vehicle's spare tyre, toolkit and jack. There are hooks right here. To hang items on. Adjustable headrests, front and rear. speakers, bottle holder, storage, and window control. The front passenger seat in this Corolla Altis gets full manual adjustments as well, with the same set of adjustments as the driver's side, just that this side loses out on the height adjustment. There is a bit of storage right there, together with a hook that can carry a maximum of 3 kilograms. Dual glove box setup. There is quite a large one below and a smaller one above. Grip handle for the front passenger and the front passenger's sun visor gets a vanity mirror as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2013 Toyota Corolla Altis 1.8e. Thanks for watching and goodbye.